Okay, our next case is Mr. Anthony N. Reddick, Sr. Mr. Reddick, uh, would you please give us your full name and DOC number? Uh, Anthony Nathan Reddick, 528822. Mr. Reddick, is that microphone movable? Yeah, Sir, where, where are you sitting? No, 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 no. Back up. There you go. We can see you very well there, but when you push your head forward, all we can see is the top of your head. So right. can you are you comfortable where you are now? Yes, sir. Okay, and we can hear you very good. So you don't need to lean forward towards that microphone, okay? All right, sir. Okay. Uh, this is a revocation hearing. Let me explain our process to you. Uh, I'm going to cover your parole revocation questionnaire. And then I'm going to read to you the allegations of how it's alleged you violated your parole. Uh, you will plead either guilty, not guilty, guilty with a statement or not guilty with a statement uh, as uh, once I read those allegations. Uh, you have uh, your attorney, Ms. Ariane Bennett, is uh, present with you. Ms. Bennett, if you would make an appearance for the record, please. Good afternoon, Ariane Bennett, appearing on behalf of Anthony Reddick. Um, and I would like to enter Mr. Reddick's pleas for him, and statements will come from Mr. Reddick. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll have a full discussion about the allegations. Do you understand our process, uh, Mr. Uh, Reddick? Yes, sir. Mr. Riddick, uh, you have, uh, before you, do you have your parole revocation questionnaire before you? Um, no, sir. Okay, well, we're going to put it up on the board. Uh, you'll be able to look at it on your screen, and we'll talk about it in just a second. It should pop up in just a few seconds. All right, sir. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're having a little uh, computer difficulty, but we'll get that thing popped up in just a second. The good news is I'm not the one trying to do it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> do you remember filling out the uh, parole revocation questionnaire? It's the question where you were asked certain questions. Uh, one of the questions is, have you been treated uh, for mental illness in the past five years or are you currently taking medication for a mental disorder? And your answer was yes. Uh, have you been treated for uh, a mental illness in the past five years? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, have you been treated uh, while you've been in prison or were you treated on the outside or both? Yeah, both. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, are you currently taking any medication? Yeah, yes, sir. What what medication are you taking? Uh, I can't remember. Pronounce, pronounce the medication. Name of the medication. And, and how how long have you been taking that medication? It's been like I think about about probably about a year and a half. Uh, uh, yeah. And you've had an opportunity to communicate with Ms. Bennett about this hearing? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Bennett, are you satisfied that his condition uh, 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 with the medication he's taking and the treatment that he's had, that he's competent to move forward today? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe Mr. Reddick's mental health is extremely pertinent to this he hearing, but I don't believe that there's a competency issue. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Riddick, if we'll look at the rest of those things, uh, do you see the uh, that signature at the bottom? Uh, it appears to be your signature dated 11-17 of 22. Yes, sir. Uh, are all of those questions and answers uh, accurate as you look at them today? <laughs> Yes, sir, they're accurate. Uh, Mr. Reddick, uh, uh, I don't mean to embarrass you, but but you read, you put on there, I, I can read and write uh, limited. Uh, can you read okay? Is uh, Would you like me to read those questions to you, or can you uh, understand them as you look at them? Uh, 
I, 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 could, I could read just a bit to, to myself. Okay, so so you're okay with all of those questions, Ms. Bennett? I'm sure you've had an opportunity to look at this questionnaire. Uh, are you okay with the answers as as outlined on that questionnaire? Yes, and Commissioner, I believe that I was present when this was filled out. Um, okay, and I it was read to Mr. Reddick at the time. He does have an intellectual disability, but um, I believe I was present when this was filled out. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Riddick, I'm now going to read the allegations against you. Rule three violation. You left the state of Louisiana without written permission as shown by your arrest on October the 11th of 2022 for the charge of this indecent exposure by the Fort Smith Police Department in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Uh, you can confer with your attorney uh, or Ms. Bennett. You can enter the plea form if you wish. We plead uh, guilty with a statement. Okay. Uh, number four, you failed to refrain from criminal activity as shown by your arrest on October the 11th of 2022 for the charge of indecent exposure by the Fort Smith Police Department in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Ms. Bennett? Uh, we plead guilty only to the fact of the arrest um, with a statement. And number 10, you failed to make payments towards your parole supervision fees and currently in arrears in the amount of $1,512. Uh, is that, uh, how do you plead, uh, uh, Ms. Bennett? Uh, guilty with a statement. Uh, Mr. Reddick, uh, your case has been assigned to Ms. Wise. She will begin the process of interviewing you. Would you please answer any questions she might have? Ms. Wise? Hello, Anthony. You, 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 you go ahead and sit back. Go ahead and sit back. Yeah, we can see you. Uh, I, I guess the screen is kind of small. You can't hardly see us, huh? That's what's going on? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Say again? So it's all right. I can see. I was just leaning forward. Oh, okay, good. But but now you understand. When you lean forward, we can't see your face. Then that's why we actually sit back. Good, good. So, uh... How long you've been taking your medication regularly? How, how um, long you been? Oh, uh, like it's been it's been this whole it's been this whole this whole year twenty two. Like currently, like you say, everything. Oh, okay, and uh, twenty two. Because I like I like in February of twenty two, your, your mother said you weren't taking your medications. Uh, so since you got arrested, you've been taking it regularly. Can we say that? Yes, ma'am. Good, good. How how do you feel? I feel I feel pretty good. How's your thinking since you've been taking it? It's been all right, off and on. When I've been taking okay. it, I'm having side it's effects, sweating and stuff. Hmm? Yeah, side effects, sweating. Sweating. Any other side effects? Uh, that's it in my sleep. Sweating in my sleep. It makes you, oh, you sweat in your sleep. Okay, does it make you sleep extremely sleepy? Uh, not so much though. But yeah. Okay. But that was a complaint you had before about it, huh? Or was it? I, I'm not sure. Was that complaint you had before about it? Yes, ma'am. But they gave me a, a so uh -huh. they, they gave me another medication. Uh, they called. I forgot the name of it. I always. I can't remember the names. I got you. I got you. All the new pronouns and names and stuff. Okay. Well, get somebody to write it down on a piece of paper so you can keep it with you. So you would know what it is. That way you would know. Because this seems to be working for you. I mean, everything has side effects, but it does seem to be working for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is there any statements that you want to make about why you're in jail right now? What well, you want to tell us? I want to apologize, say I'm sorry for, for leaving the state without permission. And I understand that, that I ain't supposed to, and I'm sorry about that so much. And about me making payments, I promise, um, I promise I have uh, a lawsuit settlement. I settled last month. My lawyer came to jail and I signed a check for 5000 and I promised that I was going to pay the whole restitution out of my payments. And uh, okay. and I promise that I'm gonna go to my AAU 
on time. Let me see my parole officer on time. And uh and promise and, and uh to do better to better myself. What what about taking your medication every day? Take, take, yeah, stay on top of my medication. And I need you to say take it every day. Everything, I promise. Um, uh, reg go ahead. So regarding Mr. Reddick's medication, just some additional background information, if helpful. Um, Mr. Reddick has been fully medication compliant in jail um, and has taken all of his medications. Um, and we have made some adjustments. We've referred him to an ACT team, which would come to his house in the community and would provide him not only with his medications, um, but would provide him with additional mental health treatment, um, whether that's groups, one-on-one -on -one therapy, and also a case manager to help him just manage all the aspects of life. Um, I think a challenge for Mr. Reddick that is outlined in his parole packet is that he has mental health concerns, but he also has a fairly severe intellectual disability. Um, and so I think it can take longer conversations to convey the importance of things like medication. Um, but we are trying to get Mr. Reddick connected with an ACT team that would connect him with a one, once monthly injection, which would change his need to take medication every day and would allow him to live more freely. All right. All right. That's that's a godsend. Yes, it's very incredible. Also, just joining me is um, the social worker who made the release plan for Mr. Reddick that was outlined in the packet. I think he was having some problems getting into the Zoom. All righty. Uh, greetings, board. Uh, again, my name is Brian Lars. I'm a uh, social worker here at Orleans Public Defender's Office. We're just going to the charges right now. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, he can go and tell us what he wants us to know. It's, it's fine. Great, thank you. So absolutely. Again, I'm, I'm sorry for the uh, confusion. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we can really help Mr. Reddick. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I want you to know that I, I, I did uh, create this reentry plan for Mr. Reddick. And uh, it's specifically catered to Mr. Reddick's needs. And I want to note that Mr. Reddick does have secure housing with his mother at 6712. West uh, Laverne Street in New Orleans. And as a social worker, I will be facilitating the following actions. Uh, I'll be connecting him with the uh, Metropolitan Human Services where he'd be placed on the ACT team. Uh, I would also link him with the 12-step uh, fellowship to address his uh, substance use issues. And our office will coordinate with probation and parole to maximize support for Mr. Reddick in the event that any crisis might occur. Uh, Mr. Reddick also be uh, referred to First 72 Plus, where he'd be mentored and participate in classes that address uh, life skills and coping skills. And he'll also have uh, daily access to our office to navigate to difficult situations. Uh, all the work that I do with Mr. Reddick will be, uh, uh, be complemented by other social workers and client advocates. So I, I do... I feel like uh, Mr. Reddick has never had this type of support before, and I think that we can help him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and did you did hear about the, the $5,000 settlement that he got? Uh, he's going to probably need some assistance in navigating yes. those five. I'm going to be there every step of the way with, uh, right. with, right. with Mr. Reddick. Absolutely. Great. Right. Glad to hear that. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Bennett, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, would you like Mr. Uh, Reddick to address the board, or do you want to just address us? Um, I just regarding the additional two charges that I'm not sure we had touched upon yet the absconding. Um, Mr. Reddick pleads guilty. He went to Arkansas to visit his his aunt. Um, he understands, I, and I think Mr. Reddick can expand upon this, that he is to get permission to do this. Um, he was, he went, um, he should not have gone, and he is aware of that. Um, and he has, there's no questions here that he has not maintained contact with parole, which I think is very important. And so he understands in the future that if he wants to leave the state, he can reach out to his parole officer and get that permission so that this issue doesn't come up again. Um, Anthony, is there anything else you want to say about going to Arkansas? 
no, I just I just went out to visit visit my my family member, my auntie, and I'm sorry about about everything. Do, do you understand, Mr. Riddick, that you can go if you get permission from your parole officer, but you can't go just your own. You understand that? I understand, sir. I understand. Uh, this is my first time on parole. Like experience a, a, a time, a long time on parole. Last time I was on parole, I come on with just two months. So I ain't really experienced being on parole because I got all some bad. But it's, it's like my first time. Good. Thank you. Ms. Penny? Um, and the final point regarding the fees, as Mr. Reddick said, he has the settlement. Um, when I spoke to him at the jail yesterday, he was adamant that upon release, he has $400 that he is bringing into the office to pay the fees he own, owes. Um, and Mr. Reddick previously received SSI. It has been shut off um, due to his incarceration. And our office is going to work with him to get back on SSI, which would give him access to money monthly to be able to pay his fines and fees. Um, and further, uh, Mr. Reddick expressed to me yesterday that he fully intends to get a job and wants to use his time um, positively by working. Thank you very much. Ready yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Reddick, yes, I'm very concerned about you. As one of my colleagues says, today you have a golden ticket with what the plan that they have set forth for you. If you cooperate with that plan, you, you can live a really, really good life. I'm taking a chance on you. My vote is to do not revoke. Uh, I find you guilty of the allegation and con continue you on supervision but you are to cooperate with the Orleans Public Defender's Office case plan that they have set forth. Best wishes to you, sir. Thank you. I thank y'all so much, too. I, I concur with Ms. Wise and I also vote to uh, do not revoke. Thank you. Ready two votes to grant, uh, uh, to uh, uh, not revoke you. Uh, I concur with my uh, colleagues. Uh, you've got a good program. Uh, your lawyers and your social worker has set up an excellent program for you. Uh, and I know it's difficult sometimes for you to navigate the things that you have to navigate. Uh, but you've got support now. You've got people that are willing to help you. So if you have any questions, be sure to contact them before you take some action. Because probably most of the things you want to do, you can do, but you just need permission to do it while you're on parole. So uh, good luck to you. Uh, we, uh, uh, we are going to release you, uh, but you need to follow the plan as outlined by the Orleans Parish Public Defender's Office. So good luck to you. Sir. All right. Thank you. Appreciate everything. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.